I'm talking to Dr. Francis Gurry, Director General of the World Intellectual Property Organisation. Dr. Gurry, how does the patent system help encourage innovation? Well, I think its principal role is to, is to provide an incentive for the investment in the creation of new knowledge. And we're now, as a society and an economy, really dependent on, on innovation, that is uh, new knowledge. The patent system, by providing a, a property right, provides the incentive for that investment. And around the world, we have about 1.2 trillion United States dollars invested every year in research and development. And uh, it's a protection of this investment for the the output of that investment. It also provides a framework for trading intellectual assets. Once these have been created, you you know, how, uh, in bringing uh, an invention from the uh, from the stage of an early idea really to a full marketable um, uh, product. What would the world be like if there was no such thing as patent protection anywhere? Well, look, I think uh, I'll answer it by an example, if I may. You know, the saxophone is the only instrument in the classical orchestra, really, that was ever patented. And it was patented in 1842 by Adolf Sax. And then throughout the, the um, course of the next 40 or 50 years, there are about 17 other patents on improvements to the sax. So Sax himself uh, patented a number of other versions of the smaller and the larger and the tenor and so on sax. And the mouthpiece in particular, the technology of the mouthpiece was greatly improved as a consequence of, of uh, these other competitors patenting uh, various forms of saxophones. Now, all of that is in the public domain, all that technology is in the public domain and has been in the public domain and can be used by anyone for over well over 100 years. Now, if you contrast that with the violin, you know, nobody knows how the violins, the very great violins, were made in Cremona in 18th century Italy, uh, Stradivarius and all of the other great violin makers, because it, they were family-based enterprises who passed their knowledge on from generation to generation in secrecy, and it was never disclosed. And the consequence is that even today, we don't know how to make a violin as they used to make them. We don't know whether the secret was in the resin or in, some, in the wood or in some other technique. So a world without uh, patents would inevitably be a world in which there's much less transparency in technology, much less disclosure in technology. We wouldn't have what we now have as a consequence of the patent system, the most systematic, comprehensible uh, and accessible record of humanity's technology. The world faces lots of challenges in terms of global warming, health pandemics, food security, what role do you think intellectual property will play in finding solutions to these challenges? Well, it plays a very major role, I think, because uh, we're only going to be able to overcome those challenges through innovation. I mean, we have to be more innovative than the microbes, for example, and they are very innovative. And we have to find the new technologies uh, for renewable energy, you know, to uh, combat uh, climate change. We know that between now and 2050, uh, the world is going to have to improve agricultural productivity by 75% to feed a population of 9 billion, and that is only going to come through technology. So we need to create the policy incentives to assist in the generation of the new ideas and the innovation which will help us to overcome these challenges. So I think the role is very, very important. Excellent. So in the future, do you think we would have less innovation? I think we would have less technology, you know, there would be resource to secrecy. There's a lot of evidence to suggest, you know, that ideas breed ideas. As Sherlock Holmes said, knowledge begets knowledge as money bears interest. And so getting it all out there and having this competition uh, is a very good thing. And the connections are created for the cre creation of the generation of new knowledge. How does the intellectual property system help local manufacturing? Mm, well, it supports in, in many ways. I mean, if you have a new product, let's say, well, you've got to decide what it's going to look like. So the first thing you have to do is to decide upon a design for that product, and that design will help you to differentiate the product from all other products that are out there in the market and create you know, a competitive advantage for yourself. So, Industrial design protection is 
uh, a first important advantage that the IP offer, uh, system can offer. Then you want your product known, uh, and for that purpose you will need to brand it, uh, and uh, a trademark therefore helps you to establish the reputation and the identity of your products in the market, and with it your own, your, your own identity as a manufacturer, and, and a certain quality standard. And then thirdly, of course, you need to be more productive uh, than everyone else, so the innovation can assist you in, in being more efficient or in, have a better, in having better performance characteristics for your product. So there's a whole range of ways, I think, in which the IP system can assist um, local manufacturing. Thanks very much for your time, Dr. Gary. It's a pleasure.